Howdy ho, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm in low carb maintenance mode. Thank you. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. I woke up about 3.30. Oh, my eye was so sore. It was just it was stinging and just painful. <coughs> took a couple of Tylenol, flipped and flopped. Finally, at four, I was like, forget it. I am getting up out of this bed. So here I am. Um, I I stripped my bed because I'm going home today. So I stripped my bed and I mom has a washer dryer in the basement and one in her bedroom closet. So I went downstairs and, uh, and I put my sheets in the washer and now they're in the dryer. So I figured if I can get them clean and maybe partially put on but she's going to want to help trust me <laughs> she like she's like military sergeant she's like a drill sergeant she wants it to be so smooth she wants it like glass but anyway so I'll at least have them washed <clears throat> and um anyway so <clears throat> that's that and like I said it's it's five o'clock now um I just my brain is just la 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 so I think I'm just excited to go see my dogs and go home. But our coffee today is, it was cookie, sugar cookie coffee. Sugar cookie coffee. So I've already got it made up and I put an ice cube in it already so I don't burn my tongue. Yeah, that's a nice flavor. I already put my electrolytes in it too. Did I already say that? Anyway, I put electrolytes in it. Lori, thanks for sending that. This is so fun. Next year, Lori said, so Lori, I'll put her name in, the in here, uh, <clears throat> FNMW, FNM Lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> so she goes to Aldi on November 1st. And she, like, goes there as soon as it opens. Because halfway through the day, all the things are gone. <coughs> so, I put that on my calendar for next year to go on November 1st to get an advent calendar. Um, so, anyway, so, uh, she sent me this coffee from um, her Aldi because I went to mine and they were out. So, anyway, like I said, but they had all different fun stuff like kid Legos and and they had a dog one. But when you got four dogs, it's like, well, I can't break one one little bitty cube into four dogs. They'll be all right. So anyway, um, but yeah, so that's that's what we've been sipping on every morning is our is our Advent coffee calendar. I brought tomorrow's with me, but I'll take it home and we'll have it tomorrow. So, all right, like I said, it's five o'clock. It's 5.10, so now I'm going to sit and just do nothing, and I'm actually actually watching Lori's channel right now, and um, she's doing, I'm, it's, I'm catching up, and she's, it was from three days ago, she did a Black Friday shopping video, so anyway, so I'm going to watch that, and um, get this bright light off, and, and uh, yeah, just see how the day goes, so okay, bye. The sun is out today i have to move out of this room it is just it's a beautiful room and the sun is out so it's a beautiful day but being in here it's just too much for my eye so i am migrating to the living room and i'm going to try that um, i'm going home today i'm not going to church with mom there's just too much brightness just in this room and her church is very beautiful and open and stained glass so I, there's no way I could do that so um anyway so yeah the, I am done in the sun room now because the sun is out so I'm just kind of going through and pulling out all my stuff before the sun comes out in full force so it's it's about a little after eight so I'm gonna eat here in a minute but definitely will not be back in the sunroom. I've microwaved the burgers. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm doing this left-handed. Hopefully, there we go. It's as good as I can get with my left hand. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of my, this is my salad dressing, which is a mixture of G. Hughes honey mustard and G. Hughes Polynesian watered down. So this is going to be my breakfast this morning. So I'm hungry and that's what I'm going to eat. I microwave the burgers for about 30 seconds. So that's going to be my breakfast this morning. I've already drank my coffee. Hey there. <clears throat> Sorry for the funky light, but I got to keep the light behind me. Um, so church today, today's Sunday, you know, I got to talk about church was really, really good. If you get a chance, you can go to, it's on YouTube here on YouTube. And, um, I am just going to open it up. The link to my church is in the description of this video. It's in the link of every de description of every video. I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to tell you which, um, the website, just the name of it exactly. Oh, hold still. Get down there. It's called Connection Point Church. And the little symbol is this little triangle. You see it on my shirts. So anyway, the message was really, really good today. Um, my best friend's husband, he gave his testimony about um, all the bad things that, you know, he's experienced, all the death and, and troubles that he's had in his life and um, how it's drawn him closer to God. So um, if you click that link and decide to watch it, that's my best friend's husband. And I call him Shepherd Matt. He's the one who I call Shepherd Matt because after all these bad things happened in his life, he started drawing closer to God. Well, he drew closer to God and his wife started going to church with, you know, they together they went to church. And at the time they weren't married. And then, you know, I was kind of dabbling around in different churches. So I decided to tag along with them. And so then um, my best friend's, a couple of her sisters come and a couple of Matt's friends come. So anyway, I call him Shepherd Matt, but he's kind of, he's kind of not shoving. He's not pushing us. He's not chasing us like a herding dog. He's just gently, he's going on, you know, his merry way, following God. And, and the rest of us are kind of following along behind him. So anyway, so if you have a chance, it's a great testimony. I'm assuming that it will be part of the video that, you know, is uploaded later. So anyway, it was a great testimony and that's that. It is 11 o'clock. My mom went on to her church. Like I said, I just couldn't go to the bright lights. So I am still going to do my Sunday thing. I'm going to have me some, um, my usual pimento cheese and three carrot sticks. So hold on. For those of you who are new, after my ch my church is from 10 to 11-ish, and then mom's church is 1045 to like 10, 1145, 12. And since there's communion at her church today, it'll probably be closer to 12. So <clears throat> typically on Sundays, I go to church and I sip on protein coffee to kind of get me through that extra hour of, I usually eat my lunch at 11. So to get me through that extra hour, um, I typically add pro just like half of a serving of protein powder. And then when I get to mom's, I do, I have some of this. This is pimento cheese. She buys it, um, every, you know, she buys it at Walmart. It's not clean. That's all right. It's, it's, you know, it's what I like and I don't do it every day. So every Sunday, I have three carrot sticks dipped in this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. And then usually. When she gets home, we typically go out to eat. Well, today, we're doing things a little backwards. When she gets home, we're going to eat lunch here. Can eat my food. And we're going to eat lunch here. Then we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to take all my stuff. And then we're going to go to Walmart. And on my way, then she's going to take me to my house where I'm going to unpack like the foods and stuff like that. And then we're going to pick up the dogs. I no, then we're going to go out to eat for supper. So we'll eat a lighter-ish lunch. What does that look like? I don't know. I don't know what a light lunch is. I might just eat my turkey and gravy and no vegetable. No big salad. So, um, I might do that. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be, that's my plan. Then we're going to go out to eat maybe somewhere like Applebee's or, um, um, 
or like a, a Dexter barbecue, something like that. So we will see. I don't remember. She and I may have already talked about it and I just forgot. No, we can't go Dexter barbecue. They're closed on Sunday. So I don't know. Wherever she says we're going is we're going. So I will see you. I'll show you my food at lunchtime. So what I did was <clears throat> I went ahead. Mom's not here yet, but I went ahead and cut up the um, turkey and um, into little bite-sized pieces. And now I'm going to put on this um, tomato tomato bouillon with chicken. I'm just going to take some of this just to give it a little flavor. It's hard doing it through my phone because I don't know if I'm missing it or anything. It's hard to see. Anyway, so I'm going to put a little of that on there. And then I'm going to put on some seasoning salt. Is it open? Nope. Hold up. Put in a little seasoning salt. Is anything coming out? I can't tell. Oh, it is now. Whoo, Nelly. That's all right. That's all right. You know me. I'll eat it anyway. So that way, when I'm doing that, so then that way I can put up my seasonings. And um, when she gets home, I'll microwave this and the gravy. I deep pulled out a gravy to defrost. This is the onion and mushroom gravy that I make. Made. I don't know when that video come up. But um, that's what that is. So now I'm just going to put this back in the refrigerator. But in the meantime, I can start putting, working on putting my things away in my tote. Again, I want to reiterate, I cannot live in a house with mixed nuts. Not only did I have that, I had a handful of nuts. And I've probably had a handful of nuts four or five times this weekend. So full disclosure, Terry cannot live in a house with nuts. Because that is an impulse food for sure. Look, that's my mom and dad when they were dating. Ain't they so cute? <laughs> Quick story. <clears throat> when mom, mom was two years younger than my dad. So dad was a senior and mom was a sophomore. He played the trombone and she played the clarinet. So he sat back in the back row. And when you play a trombone, you have to squirt it with water in order to keep the slide um, lubricated. He used to squirt my mom and he was flirting with her and she would get so mad. So she didn't like him. Then he went off to college and he came back in the summertime and she they were out both out somewhere with their friends. And she saw him and thought, hmm. May he's not that obnoxious little boy in high school. So then they started dating, and that's their story. So change of plans. We're actually at my at our um, place. Uh, oh my gosh, what's the name? Hickory House. I already ate my salad, and then I'm, they're out of pork steak, so I got a chop steak and broccoli. So that is going to be my lunch, and then I'll have that turkey for supper tonight. My babies are home. And I'm home, and yeah, life is all well. All is well in the world. We'll be eating supper here in a second for me. So uh, I don't remember what I seasoned it with, but when I was at mom's before, when I thought she was coming home and we were going to eat this for lunch, I seasoned up my turkey. I don't know what with, but this is the onion and mushroom gravy that I made up. So... This is after it's been frozen, so to show you the texture, it's, it's a little chunk. It's a little chunky chunk. That's all right. So now I'm going to microwave this for a couple minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, here is our supper. What I did was I took the turkey out on a paper plate at Mom's, and I chopped it up with the knife, and um, then I seasoned it up with, like I said, I don't even remember what I used, but I used something. I know there's some red in there, but uh, so now, but, you know, for me, white meat and turkey, they're both white meat, chicken, and, and turkey, they're, they're kind of dry. So this gravy, yeah, that's perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll open the window in a minute, buddy. Lou's home and he wants me to open the curtains. I keep them closed and I'm not going to be here. Yup, let me do And that. And that's going to be my supper. So, no veg tonight. I'm having fruit instead, so. Alright, 
That's a wrap, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.